All right, so we talked a little about how fixed amount awards affect us as recipients of federal awards, but it also affects when we are giving, when we want to give out a fixed price award uh, to somebody else, when we're the pass-through entity. And we are allowed now, in, under the uniform guidance, to make fixed amount subawards under uh, the simplified acquisition threshold, which is currently $150,000. But we, were, we have to have prior written approval from the sponsor in order to do so. This so, is a big, what rules apply, because there didn't used to be a limit. Now there is. Okay, go ahead, Rebecca. Yeah, so this is going to affect us a lot with um, small businesses, with foreign entities, because it's a lot easier for us to manage a fixed amount of war if we're, you know, doing an award with somebody in sub-Saharan Africa and they're a small business or they have like three people there, well that would be a small business. They have three people there, they don't have a procurement policy, they don't have a travel policy. It's less risky for us to issue that fixed amount of award to them than it is a cost reimbursable one. Ultimately what matters is that you have the prior written approval from the federal awarding agency. So, I would say if you know at the time of your proposal that you're going to be issuing a fix, fixed amount of award to another entity, put it in your budget justification. Say, this entity is going to carry out this work, we anticipate issuing a fixed amount of award to lower our risk and blah, 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 whatever. For some, uh, for some agencies, that will count as prior approval. For others, you may have to go back and ask again once you get the award. Again, it's going to depend on the award terms and conditions and the agency implementation. 